plasmid stability it is another factor that is important in controlling the expression of a particular gene in the host organism agar hum suppose kare ki humne jo expression hai kisi khas gene ka usko maximize kar liya hai to hame ye bhi zehn mein rakhna padega ki is maximize expression ka ya zyada expression ka plasmid pe kya impact hoga jo ki cell ke andar hai so uh, this factor it is also very very important because if the expression of the target gene is very high then it may leads to the decrease uh, rate of cell growth if the cell growth rate is decreased then another uh, factor that uh, may be there that morphology of the cells it may be altered alteration may includes that uh, the cell may show increased filamentous growth and uh, the cell also will exhibit increase fragility so these are the impacts of maximize uh, expression of the target gene so if if expression is high so it can uh, alter the cellular structure and cell fragility so if expression is high so we can say that uh, uh, it can also lead to other impacts that uh, uh, cell may lose the plasmid altogether or some uh, structural uh, instability it is there and even the plasmid which is recombinant plasmid it may be present in low copy number so all such uh, problems may be there when we will try to manage the high expression of the target gene so plasmid stability we can discuss uh, in terms of uh, segregative instability and structural instability if we focus on uh, segregative instability i think we also focus somewhere in the previous lectures uh, that uh, segregative instability it is the ability of the plasmid to segregate or to maintain equally after cell division when cell division is there genomic dna as well as plasmid dna it is distributed equally and especially in case of natural plasmid it is managed because in natural plasmid uh, there is a region of the dna in the plasmid which is called as par region par from partition it can manage the equal distribution of the plasmid into the daughter cells on the other hand artificially constructed plasmids like in case of pbr322 uh, initially this region was deleted because this uh, plasmid which is derivative derivative of coal even uh, type of natural plasmid uh, it is present or maintained as high copy number plasmids agar iska copy number high hai to सम टाइम क्या होता है कि पार रीजन के ना होने की वजह से अनइक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होती है कि एक डॉटर सेल्स में प्लाज्मिट ज्यादा चले जाएंगे दूसरे में कम चले जाएंगे तो इट इज नॉट सो मच प्रॉब्लमेटिक बिकॉज इफ अनइक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज देयर एट लीस्ट डॉटर सेल्स दे विल कंटेन सर्टन लेवल ऑफ प्लाज्मिट सम में बी हाई सम में बी लो बट इट बिकम प्रॉब्लमेटिक इफ वन डॉटर सेल इट कंटेन all the segregated uh, plasmids and other lack the plasmids but it is very rare event in case uh, where the plasmid they are present in high copy number in case of pbr322 on the other hand if the par region from a natural plasmid like psc101 it is uh, cloned uh, are inserted into the pbr322 then its equal distribution it is uh, manageable so the presence of partition region or par region it is very very important to maintain the certain level of plasmid copy number uh, into the dotted cell but 
In addition to that, some other factors may also be involved in order to manage the copy number into the daughter cells. Uh, for example, certain mutants uh, have been used that are deficient in the PAR region and here the super helicity of the DNA, it has contributed uh, to the maintenance of a certain plasmid copy number into the daughter cell. So, in addition to the PAR region, uh, super helicity of the DNA or plasmid DNA, it is also important uh, in order to determine the segregative stability of the plasmids into the daughter cells. And I think we have focused uh, on this topic, especially that how super helicity or certain mutants, uh, they can manage the equal distribution of plasmid DNA into the daughter cells.